Hey, Terrell and Val, Eileen O'Neill Burke has a nearly 9,500 vote lead ahead of Clayton Harris III, but with thousands of outstanding mail in ballots still to be counted, it's unclear who the Democratic nominee for Cook County State's attorney will be. This is at a, a moment when criminal justice reform is really on the ballot. With margins tight, the Democratic nominee for Cook County State's attorney is still a major question mark. One day after the Illinois primary election, former Judge Eileen O'Neill Burke has a small lead over former prosecutor and University of Chicago public policy lecturer Clayton Harris III. ABC 7 political analyst Laura Washington says the close race highlights just how split Cook County is on the issue of criminal justice. There's a big difference in terms of how people think crime should be addressed. Harris was much more about criminal justice and fighting crime. Uh, but other people are saying we, the criminal justice reform has gotten out of hand and we really need to crack down on crime. O'Neill Burke says her campaign is cautiously optimistic about the outcome. She spoke to supporters last night. I believe that we could make our justice system work for everyone in every neighborhood, in every town across Cook County. Harris III spoke to an enthusiastic crowd after polls closed and is encouraging his supporters to be patient as all the votes are counted. That's what this campaign has been about, safety and justice. The fact that this is not an either or proposition, that this is an and proposition. Meanwhile, the ABC 7 I team is learning nearly 160,000 outstanding mail-in ballots remain across Cook County, which could affect the nearly 9,500 vote margin between O'Neill Burke and Harris. City elections officials say we'll have a better idea of who may come out on top this weekend. It is a bit of a question mark until we get all of those ballots back over the next few days. And we, by state law, have to count all late arriving but properly postmarked ballots through April 2nd, as well as all provisional ballots that were cast yesterday. Now, the Democratic nominee will go on to face Republican Bob Fioretti and Libertarian Andrew Charles Kempinski in the November general election. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.